All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G coming to you live from the test server. They've just unlocked the werewolf cab. They've unlocked the new bow, and they've unlocked the Draco flamethrower. So we're going to play with all three. So first thing on the list is we figured, hey, what can we make with the werewolf cab that's ridiculous? Well, something that explodes and blows itself up seemed like it would work since the special ability is all about blowing yourself up so can we detonate on our targets and then self-destruct ourselves and then detonate on the target even more is the idea i mean just technically that's like three explosions right so we're going to try that out we're also going to take a look at the phoenix bow so let's take a peek at this thing um, this thing is uh, epic, purple weapon, a power score 1,175. It takes five points of energy, and it launches an explosive. You can see, look, it looks really similar to the Lance explosive punji stick things. And uh, this is how this works. Yeah, I just slapped this together. <laughs> okay, don't don't judge this build uh, for combat effectiveness and or weight. We just, we're putting this together to show you guys as quickly as possible. But look at this. One, two three three second delay then you get some ridiculous explosive damage and it sticks to the target and there's, there's nothing they can do about it it's just you've got to deal with delayed damage but look at that interesting i thought you only got the fuse drone upon self-destruct but looking at this right now the way it's coded we just blew up the werewolf cab and it turned into a fuse drone so that would make our previous build even more useful and the last thing we're going to play with today is this. We're going to take a look at the Draco Flamethrower. 1300 power score, legendary weapon, 4 points of energy. Heats up parts so they receive 100% more damage, similar to the Aurora. Now, Firebug, project a steady stream of fire for a long time. Relic weapon, um, 300 more points in power score. But these two together are ridiculous you get the damage increase oh man i just noticed that my fire bug is off by one weld point i'm going to try and ignore that um the increased damage of the fire bug look at that boom we both turned into werewolves that's ridiculous i mean we both so that's a big deal though if the cab lets you in fact go from being killed to becoming a fuse drone no matter what versus being able to self-destruct and become said fuse drone. So we have uh, gone ahead and fixed that little oops. Let's try out uh, just Werewolf Kazi here. Yeah, I know the name's terrible, but we're gonna try it out anyway. So one thing that I just noticed is we're going into battle on a custom battle with bots is they have made bots uh, with hover are coming down the pipe. Just, just take a look at Ethan and Kenneth there. They still can't drive, <laughs> just, That'll make for interesting gameplay. And what do they have? They're running an executioner on hover. Ridiculous. Um, actually, to be fair, Olivia drives better than I do with hover. But that's not saying a whole lot. Can we cloak and blow ourselves up? It's a bot here. Can we blow up Mary? Can we blow her up? Boom. Oh, we have a lot of these on this build. I figured once one detonated, they would all go, but... You guys know I'm not very good at these. No, no. All right, we're just gonna detonate ourselves at this point. And here we go. Can we, nope. Very low structure. So we just got wiped out there. Oh, this, this should be fun. It's giving us all 800 power score enemies right now. Well, okay then. Thanks for that computer for randomly deciding our power score was low enough that we don't deserve real enemies. Wow, this is a terrible build so high. These things are really heavy. Um, can I hit this guy? Can I hit him? Oh, there we go. There we go. Watch this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Goodbye, Ethan. Yeah, he's done. Oh, you just have that delay. It's kind of... It's going to make for some funny horn situations where you can just really mock your opponent as you know they're about to die. Think plasma grenade from Halo. Stick it to your opponent and just wait. Oh. Would help if you could hit Orlando, Mr. G. I mean, he's not even moving. He's not even, a, he's really not moving at this point. There we go. 
Bye, Orlando. Yeah, these are going to be fun. These are going to be fun. And last and probably most dangerous, let's try the flamethrower one. All right, guys. Can we blow up the babiest of bots? Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, my word. Okay, here we go. Frank. Frank. Instant dead. Wow. Can we get Abigail? We need to make some newer bots for the low-level players as well. Yeah, I think this is going to be... I mean, obviously we're fighting, like, super wimpy bots at this point, but... The fact that the Draco boosts the damage of the Firebug and they have similar range and overheat... If you paired this with a Harpoon, that would be pretty savage. At least now there's a Flamethrower I can actually afford that's in Legendary instead of Relic. Because there's no way, my regular account, we are getting the uh, the Firebug thing. It's just it's not happening. You'll notice the flames do stick around on the ground for a little bit. Let's see if we can do some damage in front of a character. If uh, that will actually damage them later. It's a little hard to test though, because none of these guys will stay still. And they die so quickly. So, we do damage over time. Nah, it doesn't really look like it. Alright guys. That was us taking a peek. And lots of the new toys. And I think most of you guys are excited for this one. For the Phoenix Bow, and I don't blame you. This thing's going to be fun, but at five points of energy, you're not going to be doing more than three. So, and it doesn't leave you much other energy to do anything else with. Doesn't look like you need to worry about overheat, though, or cooldown. Uh, it's going to be something you're going to want to pair with a Colossus or a Cheetah. To get that reload bonus is what it looks like. I don't even know if this build's going to make the jump. But we're going to do that. So uh, if you guys want to see everything coming from the test server. Please throw us a sub. Throw us a like. And I will get it to you as soon as possible. Come by the Discord for talking about anything extra. And showing what you're building. That's it for today. I'm going to go get some coffee. Mr. G failing the jump. And Mr. G out.